GMK, Born to be Free. Hey, I was sitting in an interview and he asked me like, like, do I regret the shit that I did? And I'm telling nigga like, what I'm regret the shit? How I'm regret some shit made me me? Everything, the shit I did. I'm I'm going to regret some shit that made me me. That's real. That's real. That's real, man. How am I going to regret some shit that made me me? I am who I am today because of what I've been through and what I've experienced. How am I going to regret that? You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. There's a lot of things to regret, though. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things to regret. And everything you go through makes you who you are. But there's de there's definitely things that might that might put you on to something that you don't even want to be put on to. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even want to be put on to that. That shit kind of fucked me up. Now I can't pretend like I know that exists. You know what I'm saying? I, I would have been better off if I just didn't know that existed. But now I do know. So I'm a little bit fucked up. You might not regret it specifically, but might just be what it is like a good example is like if you find out like somebody who you liked ends up being somebody you don't like for example like i don't know what's a what's a more specific example like i don't know like you find out your dad was like lame or some shit like i don't know i don't i don't want because i have some examples but i ain't really trying to like be like big on on like shit that I, I i don't really want to talk about i ain't trying to like you know what i'm saying like like be too big or deep on like shit i don't really care to talk about but um like um uh, i don't know i'm gonna soften it up i'm gonna soften it up like you find out a family member you like a lot Like your dad for example Was like a thief And you don't like thieves For example Like you just like Man I hate thieves They always steal stuff Get your own shit Work for what you For what you have And and then you find out That your dad was a thief It's just like Dang I would have been better off If I didn't know that now All the years of respect I had for my dad Is kind of diminished Because I find out He was a thief And I, that's how deeply I don't like thieves And that's just an example but um, you know, it's not really it's not really a regret, but it's just, it's an example of some of like learning something that you probably would have been better without. You know, what I'm saying like I would have been better if I didn't believe or if I didn't know that my dad was a thief. Now it's not about my dad. You know, what I'm saying disclaimer. I don't I don't believe my dad was a thief. You know, what I'm saying. But um, uh, I always grew up my, my dad always grew up telling me he didn't like thieves So if I find out he was a thief And he don't like thieves and he growing, You know what I'm saying I guess it might, maybe he learned his lesson But you know But You know I like I, I stole some shit when I was a kid You know what I'm saying Thinking that shit was fun Thinking that shit was cool But I also got caught stealing when I was a kid And I don't like how it feels To get caught So that's That's why I don't I don't steal You know what I'm saying That's why I'm not really I'm not I'm not an adult thief I got that shit out Of my system When I was Young young You know what I'm saying So Um And that, that was because You know I When when I got caught It just felt So whack being caught I'm just like I don't ever want to feel like that So I I don't like to do I don't like doing nothing That I'm not going to like if I get caught, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of usually just how I choose my, that's kind of how I like, make my decisions. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if I get caught? Like anything, like anything, like for people who are like out doing stuff that you know people don't like and you th you think it's cool because you know you're going to get away with it or it's private to you or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Think about, think about what would happen if you got caught. Like, are you, are you, are you going to stand strong when you get caught? Are you going to, you know what I'm saying? Support it or um, defend it when you get caught, or or are you just gonna sit there and look lame and feel weak as hell that you got caught and feel sorry for yourself? Because the way to avoid feeling like that is just not do it at all. Now it's impossible for you to get caught because you just didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's um 
That's how I feel about a lot of things. You know, I I'm not uh, I don't like not being able to go back to places. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really like doing stuff that's going to make it so that I can't go back there. So like if I steal from a store, for example, and I get caught, now I can't go back to the store. You know what I mean? And then now my parents are involved. They got to tell my parents and, and they want to call the police and I got to talk to the police and shit. I'm just like, man, it's too much. I'm going to just hustle, get my money and buy the shit next time. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So that's just an example. But, you know, you like you love somebody and you find out something about them, like maybe they're like like the first thing I was thinking is like if you find out somebody you love is like a child molester. That's 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 what I was trying to prevent myself from saying. But I feel like it's just a better example. So fuck it. It's out now. You know what I'm saying? You find out somebody loves a child molester and, and you, you don't really like child molesters. So now you're just like, damn, I don't even know if I can fuck with you knowing that you a child molester the whole time. I would have been better off not knowing so that. My feelings for you wouldn't change. You know what I'm saying? That's one example. Um, so that just goes back to what I was talking about, about how your experiences make make who you are. So you shouldn't regret your experiences because it makes who you are. But there are certain things that you can learn and you can experience that you can that you can recognize that you would have been better without. You know what I mean? Like I, I would, I didn't really need that experience. I didn't really need that information. I would have been better without that. But you know, it, you know, depending on what it is, you know, what I'm saying it could be something completely different. You know, what I'm saying whether it's better or worse, you could regret it. You know what I mean? So that that's just to say that I think it's a cool perspective to not regret what you go through because it makes you who you are. But there are things that you that you may not have control of. That you might simply just regret because it's just like, damn, I ain't need that, or it might just change you in a way that you ain't want to be changed. So you're just like, man, I regret doing that shit. Fuck it. You know what I mean? You could lose like relationships, for example. You know what I mean? Like, you could steal from like you could steal from like a friend of yours, thinking that you're not gonna get caught, thinking like, oh, they're not even gonna know. I'm just gonna take this real quick and be out. And then whole time they find out, now you don't got that friend no more. So now you kind of regret stealing because. It's like, damn, I didn't know they was going to find out or I didn't know they was going to take it that serious and not be my friend. Now I have no friends. Everybody thinks I'm a thief. I can't make no friends anymore. So that, that's an example of something you might regret. But fuck it. It's who you are now. You know what I'm saying? Now, like if you if you go through something like that, you lose you lose respect for a lot, from a lot of people or you, um, you know what I'm saying? People don't fuck with you no more because they found out something about you that, you know, you now having gone through that you know i'm not making the same decision i don't want to lose that many friends i don't want that many people thinking that about me instead of like regretting that it happened you can you know what I'm saying like this guy you know what i'm saying i'm gonna regret something that made me me it makes you who you are because now that's just how you learn it's just how you found out you know what i'm saying that's just how you found out you thought it was cool to, to take the shit you got caught nobody fucks with you that's how you found out that's how you found out that nobody's gonna fuck with you when you get caught so next time you know you know what I'm saying? Like your like your new relationships, meeting new people. Maybe you go to a different city, meet new people, or you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a, a group of people who don't know and they and they still are befriending you. Those are the people who you can be straight with. Those are the people who you can straight up be like, you know what? I've been through that. That's how I'm so sure I don't want to. And for that reason, I'm a better person. I am who I am. Um, I'm cool. I think you guys should uh you know what I'm saying. So fuck with me for who I am today and not what I did yesterday and whatnot. You feel me? So that just is what it is. Made me me. So why the fuck I'ma change that? That'll change me. Shit hit me like 2014 on the bus. I ain't had no car. And that'll change me. So why the fuck I'ma change that? That'll change me. Shit hit me like 2014 on the bus, I ain't had no car Ain't nobody think I was gon' get far Cause nigga said we not took my Glock That was my first time ever seen Jeb But nigga ain't know that the one gon' start I ain't learn cause I ain't taking it serious Walk around in my socks Nigga be hatin', I be making them furious Walk around all these rocks Crackin' be watching us, we be making them curious Damn, so this dude came in what was that, Gucci? I think I seen that shirt before I think it's Gucci, he got the Backpack, I don't know what kind of backpack that is But that joint look, that joint look clean Um, let me see his, his crib look nice, you know what I'm saying? He walking around in his towel. Look like he got the crib to himself. The crib look nice. 
Walking out the junk, got the shades on. Was it, he got on Gucci pants? Might be Gucci pants. He Gucci up. Then you go get some breakfast. The breakfast look good. Who can't you go? Nah, Gucci. And got Gucci socks, so he just Gucci Gucci. Uh, the damn peaches pouring the peach syrup with the peaches on the little glazed over pancakes. I don't know what kind of pancakes those are. Them Jones look like cream filled pancake a pancake dessert dish. That don't look that don't look good straight up. That should look good. No, he flossing with the twenty dollar bill. How's that working for you? Paper, gonna paper cut his gums, yo. It look like he could be hitting the gum with that shit. He doing it lightly, you know. He know to be careful. I traded a 380 for my chalk. Who would have guessed it one year later? 2017, yeah, I be locked. 2018, I was in that box. Cracker took my mat, I was sleeping on rocks. I was counting down and watching the clock. November when I dropped. 2019, the nigga was chilling. By 2020, I was back in that box. I spent New Year's with my Sally smoking K2 drinking box. I just fireworks out my window. I just said tears on top of this box. He said 2019, he was in that box. What else did he say? Sound like he said it twice. November when I dropped 2019, the nigga was chilling. By 2020, I was back in that box. 2019, nigga was chilling. By 2020, I was back in that box. I spent New Year's with my Sally smoking K2 drinking box. I spent New Year's with my Sally smoking K2 drinking what box? Is that what you said? Drinking box. The nigga was chilling. By 2020, I was back in that box. I spent New Year's with my Sally smoking K2 drinking box. Smoking K2 drinking box. I don't know what box is, but he was drinking it. K2, that's crazy. He dropped K2, man. I don't even know where to get K2 at. K2, K2 is like an artificial weed. Simple as that. It's like an artificial weed. And um, they had that shit in the city, you know, in DC, from what I remember. You go to like a little convenience store, maybe like a little uh, smoke shop. And buy a pack of K2 and smoke that shit, get high. That shit like chemicals. I don't. That shit, that shit is like literally artificial weed. So I guess he was getting that shit in the jail. He was, they was getting them the K2 in the jail, and he was smoking that shit. And he was getting high in jail by any means. So, and he was drinking that bop. I don't know what that is, but he was drinking that as well with the K2. Oh, he got the grills from Johnny. Oh, there go Johnny Dang right there, chilling. Got the grills lit up. Those are the grills you gotta get, yo. If I if I was to ever get grills for the longest for the longest, I I've never really cared about grills you know what i'm saying um but you know just like just like almost anything man consistency will will grow things on you you know what i'm saying when you keep seeing the same thing over and over you'll start to change your opinion on it you know unless you're just like really strong you know what i'm saying if you're like a real strong minded principled and or stubborn person then maybe you don't relate or maybe you don't agree but you know when things change when, when, when new things start to happen or, you know, what I'm saying a group of people or culture or whatever the case is, entertainment, whatever it is, when things start to change and, you know, I'm not really I'm just like, why? Why do people want to do that? Or I don't really fuck with that or I never really like that. And then now it becomes the next cool thing. I try to, like, take my time to, to figure out why people like it. You know, what I'm saying I don't really like being too, too hard stuck on not fucking with shit you know what i'm saying so you know with grills um like when i first when i first well all right so grills 
came out from what I remember from like Houston. I think like Paul Wall, Mike Jones, uh, uh, what's the nigga name? Slim Thug. They were like the first people I remember who was making grills big. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Nelly had a song called Grills, and um, that just wasn't that just wasn't my culture. I'm not from there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not from St. Louis. I'm not from Texas. I'm not from Houston. So it just wasn't my culture. Um, I couldn't really make sense of why people wanted to put shit on their teeth. You know what I'm saying? Like just brush your teeth, get clean white teeth, so that people know you're clean, and then uh. Then you can kiss all the women you want in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of my perspective. But um, obviously it grew. Obviously it grew. It's nationwide. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be from Texas. You don't got to be from St. Louis or wherever else. Grills were big. You know, I guess Florida. I guess grills got big in Florida. I don't really remember. Um, maybe maybe Georgia, Atlanta is when it started getting big. I don't really remember how it got big, to be honest with you. I just remember, I remember it was big mainstream in hip hop, Paul Wall, and then from there, just everybody started doing it. Like it was like it was like at one at one time, Grills became like I feel like it all happened at one time. Like it all happened within one year, and then it just kept going from that year. And I feel like it was like I don't want to drop the wrong year, but I started noticing like maybe like 2015, maybe a little bit earlier than that is when just like every new rapper, like you pretty much had to have a grill to be a rapper. It's kind of just how it started to look. You know what I'm saying? Before, before it was the chain, you know what I'm saying? Before you get a nice chain, you know what I'm saying? Get the custom chain with your, with your rap group on it. You know what I'm saying? Like get it like, for example, like the diplomats had the dip chain, the Rockefeller chain. Then you were good. You get your chain. If you get a deal from them, they give you a chain. You know what I'm saying? You get brought into the group. You get the official Rockefeller chain. Now you're part of the crew. That's kind of how it was. And then I feel like it had been maybe around 2015, maybe a little earlier. It grew to grills. So now not just the chain, but you also need the grills. And when it first when it first started happening to me, it looked like, man, it's a bunch of niggas just copying you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not your culture. You're not from Houston. You're not. You know what I'm saying? That's just kind of how I looked at it because that's just the era I grew up. I grew up. I grew up in an era when things were based on where you were from. Like, New York niggas did shit different from Texas niggas who did shit different from Florida niggas who did shit different from Cali niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I grew up. It's not like that no more. They broke the boundary. You can be from wherever and do whatever. I think it's cool. And, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a better place to be. But... At the time, I'm just like they just copying, but now, now it's kind of it's kind of growing on me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it like it looks cool. Um, so, you know, for someone who who wouldn't have made sense of getting grills, I started questioning how, when, why would I get my first set of grills? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of just the new question for myself. Not to say that I'm going to get grills. I have no real need or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like there's nothing telling me to go out and get grills or to save up and get grills. But, you know, so if I have some money floating around and there's a good price, I just feel like get some grills. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I will. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not cut off from the idea as I was, you know what I'm saying, once before. And I feel like those are the ones to get, you know what I'm saying? Because you'll have people who get like the solid gold grills. Like my partner, he had, he had the uh, solid uh, the solid gold grills you know what i'm saying uh him and his family was from florida from what from what i know and um he had the solid gold joints and i don't know i don't think i would get the solid gold joints um i i, I think i would get diamond diamond studded joints and maybe maybe a different pattern i don't know if i would get like the ones how he has where it's just you know what I'm saying bust down diamonds throughout the whole throughout every tooth. I might you know, get like a pattern. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, just to make it different. You know what I'm saying? Get a pattern just to make it different. But them Jones clean. Them Jones gleaming. I fuck with them. Johnny, they won't turn me to no victim. I went hard until I got it back right. And then the nigga asked me how I felt. Like what you, what you was going through, what you was, you feel? I'm like, man, that shit, that shit be. I don't know, you get the point. That shit be second nature. It just be shit sticking and moving. You feel me? I'm doing, I'm doing a bit. Hey, 
I felt a bad thing. Lost inside my thoughts, feel like I'm stranded. Crackers tryna take me from my family. They say they won't not tell a lawyer 20 amps. I was doing state time, same clothes, three days, no hump. Seven months alone behind them doors, no hump. So based on what he's talking about, he sound like this song sounds like it's a um like I was in jail and now I'm out and I'm up track. That's oh, it's called Born to Be Free. All right, I didn't I didn't connect that in, until just now. So that makes sense. The song's called Born to Be Free, and the bars he is saying is talking about how he was locked up and now he's out and he's he's out, he's gleaming. He's out, he's getting his chain, he's getting you know what I'm saying, he's getting his Gucci fit. He's getting his grills and he rapping. He's shooting videos now. He lit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know how old he is. He said he he said he got locked up 2020. So he look like he look like a young guy in his 20s or whatnot. But that's how it feels, man. That's how it feels when you're young and you you get locked up, then you get out and you got the whole, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole world feels like opportunity because you're out, you're free, you get to do whatever you want. You know? Like um, I don't know if it feels the same when you're older, though. You know what I'm saying? For like the for like the old heads who are locked up, you know, forever, however, for however long it's been. You know what I'm saying? If you like 40 plus getting out, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you're gonna feel happy to see your family. You're gonna feel happy to, you know, what I'm saying, getting back to a lifestyle of being able to enjoy the outside. You know what I mean? But. It may not it may not feel as free as like the the younger teenagers or twenty some year olds who still have their whole life ahead of them who's just like, Yeah, got that out the way, now I'm lit, what's good, what we about to do? Cause you know, if you in your forties or forties plus and you getting out, you know, I can only imagine straight up that I would be thinking about how much time I lost versus my whole life being ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? You fucking forty, fifty, sixty. You ain't really got that much life ahead of you, but you definitely going to be feeling good that you're not locked up, that you can go around, hit the store when you want to and meet up with whoever's still alive in your friends or family group. You know what I'm saying? Use the Internet when you want to, all that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, So, you know, it's good. You know, it's good to be free regardless. But. You know, being young, being young and being out, it kind of hits different. It kind of hits different. I, I, I can, I can only imagine, because you're just young. You just have way more of your life. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> he's, he's kind of showing that. You know what I'm saying? He kind of, he kind of, he's, he's kind of looking like that. He's kind of looking like he's just out, ready to enjoy his life. Kick your door and take your TV. I take my picture with my flash. You see my penis. Hey, niggas bend my hand. They must have felt they want to. I got flowers out my window. I just said tears on top of this bump. Cracker might lock me up, but that won't stop my shine because I'm a star. They knew I was going to go to prison. I knew I was going to go to giants. They won't turn me to no victim. I went hard until I got it back, right? That was lit. That was cool. 